a special shout out to both Marcel and Walter. Uh, I'm re-sharing things that they shared, and I want to highlight a couple of, of things relative to those. This is learning agility. I have it on the Twixter because I think it matters. I think it's important, it's certainly in my life, because I'm always going to be making mistakes and then trying to learn from them and be adaptive and improve upon myself. And I think the same concept applies for a company. And in the case of William Lee, there are two big takeaways from this Q&A uh, transcript. And, and by the way, some of the things that were not that I'd hoped would be addressed and talked about in the earnings call were actually talked about here. So highly recommended if you also appreciate the research um, aspect or side of things, but also getting a better sense of not just the experience of William Lee and Neo, but what they've learned from even some of their missteps. There are two big takeaways that I took from this concept overview wise. One is learning agility is absolutely in play for William Lee and for Neo, which is good. I want to see that. I want to know and have that confidence that it's there. The other is that this man is very detail oriented. And as such, I don't think it makes any sense that he would be wasting money. And I think that is illustrated and, and really exemplified if you go through and take the time and then note just how detail oriented he is, even with respect to some of their costs and some of the things that they've done with respect to learning agility, making changes and adapting and improving. And I love that. I really like that. And then also this, now this was shared by Marcel, by the way, Marcel, I think that one of the indicators for us that Neo is becoming known globally as a brand is when Marcel Munch has 100,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel. I think he should have already had that number surpassed based on the level of content that he puts out. But that's going to be a simple indicator for me, one of many, uh, that will be like, okay, Neo's kind of on the map now globally. They're, they're better known and recognized globally. So let's go, Marcel. Let's see you at 100,000, bud. Uh, but this is a share that he had the point that I want to make is as Neo is transforming and, and really coming out with a new energy resource or source with these virtual power plants, it goes back to they were basically testing things out at this point, 2023. I have referenced this video several times and look at this. We still haven't, or they still haven't had even a thousand views. You know what that tells me? We're probably in the 1%, meaning we may be going that much further and more have more awareness of certain things than anyone else. I'm talking about 99% of people out there. If so few people are even aware or have even seen that video and recognize that Neil was actually testing things like the virtual power plant uh, out a couple of years ago. Let me wrap it, get this thing up and out. I'll see you all again very soon. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.